where are we at with the player perspective on this? Do the players know what's going on? Are they concerned if you're a player on the A's? And I know most of their players are league minimum. I just got to the league. I don't care. I'm just happy to be in the bigs. But like we've been talking about, there is a union. Like the league is split into two. It's the league and the league office and then the union and the players. I mean, there has to be a line here, I would think, where they have to agree that this can't fly. Hey, we're going to play here. We're going to play there, right? It's yeah, I'm not I'm not a fan of it. I think it's as and even as a player who's trying to sign there or who's playing there, it's it's a it's a land of opportunity for only specific players. But uh, if you're a rookie trying to get established, you're happy just to be there and you overlook a lot of the problems. And if you're playing in different stadiums, if you're an old guy trying to sign on to a team and stay in the league, you're happy to play for Oakland. But if you're these other players that are going that are trying to win. Um, the fact that they're talking about playing over at different stadiums or not knowing where home is, not knowing all these variables, uh, on top of just Oakland wanting to or trying to spend money here in the future, who's going to want to sign there with all these unknowns? And they don't care because they don't want to sign anyone they, anyway. They, but, they don't care. Know. Yeah, but it's they, I mean, they you're signed not, Alex Wood the other day. Yeah. Great. You're not signing there to win ball games. Clearly, no. if they're not going to be spending money, and there looks like they're not. Um, they're they're already they're handcuffing themselves in the free agent market even before they open the pocketbook. I think it's imperative that whenever there is a ball club in Vegas, that team puts its best efforts forward right from the jump. Well, they have to get the fans excited right away. Yeah. Like they have that's, to come in and the Knights did that. Yeah, but they have to come. You know, the Knights are expansion, and they made the Stanley and, Cup. No, they the made the finals the first year. Of that's ever. what I'm saying. And then they just won this past year. Like they have brought winning right off the but jump. They need Does to come in and believe bring this fire. regime whoever, is going to win. Whoever in 2028 is a free agent that year, you have to expect, or you have to expect Las Vegas to throw big money at you. Yeah. If you're like a top of the, I mean, I don't even, I mean, so far away from, but sure. I mean, I'm sure we can project out who could possibly be a free agent. But think about it. If you're a free agent that year, the A's have got to hit it because they got to get the fans excited. If they go in there with a $45 million payroll of all rookies, people in Las Vegas mm-hmm. are going to be like, we don't care. Don't care. There's too many other things that's to all, do. That's, like that's always the formula. You want to, you, He's right. You want to sign those big players right when you have that new stadium or that new market. To It also kind of helps offset the cost of it where you bring in, get the excitement going. So maybe all this money that he's saving up these and they're making these years – uh, till they're open, maybe he'll finally open that that checkbook come twenty twenty eight. Now, if you're a free agent, it's not a bad place to go if the organization gets cleaned up or hopefully just gets sold. Is the real goal for everyone, right? I think you want some stability as a player. You want to know where you'll be, where your your family will be, where your your interests are vested in. It's just not the same when you're moving around and don't have an owner who's like on the same side or on the same page as you. 